Will Stanwyck provides. Stanwyck kind of pretends like he's going to X and then curls top side. Hey, I'm Will Stanwyck. I'm a senior attackman here at Johns Hopkins, and I'm going to be talking about one on one dodging. So, the first thing we want to do when we're dodging from anywhere on the field is we want to square a man up. What I mean by that is we want to get our hips square to Mike's, and when we come into it, we want to be running at him. So once I have Mike squared up, I want to come at him, and I want to jab either way and go the other way. So in this case, Mike's giving me his top right foot, so I want to open him up and take him down my left side. So I'm going to jab to my right and take Mike over to this left side. After I get him going this way, I've opened him up. I want to get my angle going right down the goal. I want to put my hips going right down the goal. So I'm going to come right down on Mike and bring him down right down on the goal so that I have the best angle. A lot of times, you'll see guys, once they come back and they jab, they'll put their stick out to the sideline and they'll start running towards the sideline. That makes it a lot harder for them to come down and shoot. We want to make it easy on us and we want to go down the field. Then, once we get down this field, we're at a better angle than we would be if we put our stick out to the sideline and went that way. He's going to be one heck of a player if he isn't already four in the white. Jump shot, score! Confusion caused by the pick allows Stanwick to get top side right here. Once we've started going down the hashes, now we're getting to a spot where we can shoot more pass. What you can do here is, because you're into Mike, one thing he can do is he can't check you. Maybe you can step in, step away, and from here, you have your hands free to either shoot or pass to the open guy. That, that's definitely a fundamental that you rely on at the highest level because you've got to be physical when you're dodging. And if I'm not physical and Mike's just physical on me, he'll be able to push me out all the way to the sideline. But if I can maybe get him off balance and get into him, then when I step away, he might end up falling back that way or he can might become too hard at me. Then I can re-dodge right back at him which gives me a good way to either beat him, get my hands free to pass, and kind of put you in a threat at all type of levels. I like to say, call our fakes hitches. So you want to be able to shoot out of your hitch. So if you make an awesome big fake. It's really, really important. You, you want to get used to where you are in the field, how the fencing are playing you, and that just comes by practice. You really got to rep it as much as possible in practice and games. 